Welcome to NHL 22 Be a Pro Series on Dynasty Central Sports. NHL Super Agent Taylor Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us the 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Playing pickup, yeah, with a bunch of other kids. Just it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there. Now, of course, I, I got to ask you, we, we've seen the scouting reports. We've seen the highlights, but we know about the player. But tell me more about the person. What's this rookie really like? Yeah, sure, James. Do that, we have to head to Honolulu, Hawaii. A very unsuspecting place for an NHL prospect that is going to be Tua Tugabuiatu, who is a big time prospect making his waves to become the first NHL hockey player to be born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Raised on the island, the big island of Oahu, he has grown in a large family of eight children the second youngest of the family and Tua has always been a big kid he's grown up as a big kid and from a young age got the hockey bug and went in and started playing love the physical force of the game as you can see his hits uh, from a young age were just generating big time aftershocks he actually ended up moving his family and himself to California to play against better players and uh, then he actually got drafted into the WHL for the Portland Winterhawks and that's the type of player that the Portland Winterhawks had all season and he's just a physical force out there from a young age played uh, defense played forward but he is now a big time NHL prospect he's a power forward take a look at Tua Tugga Boiatu, a big time 6'5", 250 plus pound right winger, plays left winger, and now we are going to join him and his agent, Taylor Mackey, is going to be guiding his uh, career throughout this Be A Pro series, and so right now we are taking a look at Tua as he is setting up for the Memorial Cup uh, playoff round robin. First game is set against the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds, one of the top teams in the junior leagues. Take a look at coach. This is coach Caleb Yonkman, and he is the head coach of the Portland Winterhawks going over to a, and his big time first game against the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. He's got to win the game. Got 225 plus from the management. Number 10 because uh, that is just a, a number that's dear to him. And let's join in to Tua's first game as the in in the Memorial Cup uh, round robin. Like I said, we're going to be facing off against the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds out of the OHL. And they are one of the top teams in the OHL. Um, so thank you for joining this series. If you are a fan of Dynasty Central Sports or if you're new to the channel, smash like down below, hit subscribe, and thank you for joining us on this new series, the first episode. And uh, sorry about some of the graphics that you will be seeing. Um, we're going to have a little bit of uh, poor graphics in the first transition. And we're already starting off with a Seth Jarvis goal in the first period before T uh, Tua can even get out there. Nicknamed Big Tugga. That's what I'll be calling him a lot in this series. Tua or Tugga in that defensive zone. Passing that up through the neutral, and Tua's got the puck. He'll skate into the Greyhound zone, and he will get pinned along the bo uh, boards, kind of, and loop Ball 20. into the Winterhawk zone. Big hit from Tugga. Tugga throwing around that physical force, that huge body he's got packed into that on those skates. And he is a, a, not a fast skater out there, but he's got a good bit of movement. Not great in the hands either. Sometimes he, that's one of his detriments is his puck control. And now we are going up. We got the puck from a nice pass 
don't really know my teammates too much yet, so I can't really call their names out unless I can read them down at the bottom. DeRoe passes over. Tugs loses that pass. Tugga, Tugs, whatever I'm going to call him, he's going to go for a line change because we are gassed. We got a new shift coming out at the play uh, on the power play, and we're jumping out. The Jesus, this graphics is killing me. Pitlick for the Greyhounds has the puck. He'll skate that into the Winterhawk zone. Passes that back up to Mackie. Mackie, and that's a uh, clearing from the Winterhawks. Kaichik uh, dumps that back into the Greyhound zone, and the Greyhounds got the puck. Passes that out, and Kearns takes a hit, and now Tugga poke checks that. No, no go. Can't do it. Passes over, Pitlick has it, shoots, snipes it right past the Winterhawks goaltender. And that's going to be the first goal of the game for the Sioux St. Marie Greyhounds. Yaramir Pitlick scores that and ties it up 1-1. One one. That is a, 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 a tough goal to give up, but it is still the first period. McCleary has it over to Manic. Manic, the team, uh, line mate for Tugga. Loses that. That's Dickinson along the boards, and he'll lose that in center ice. Still controls it over to Johnston. Johnston along the boards takes a huge hit from Tugga. Tugga now is at the point playing a little defense. This is the one difference between this and Tugs, the series as a defensive defenseman. Um, a big difference in p positioning. So um, playing at the point, you're going to want to cover the opposing defenseman instead of being the defenseman in that zone. McLean now has the puck. He loses that. Manic over to Licky. Back to Tugs. Tugs shoots that wide of the net. Manic now has the puck. He'll pass that over to Tugga and he snipes that for the first goal of the series to uh, Tugga Boiatu with his first snipe of the tournament off a nice pass from Manic. What a snipe from Tua Tugga Boiatu, the big man from Honolulu, Hawaii, makes history. Snipe in the first one of this one past Birkin the Merkin, the goaltender for the Greyhounds. 2-1 to one in the first period, 10-54, and Manic and Licky, my balls, he gets an assist on that one. Now the uh, Winterhawks now have it. Chaichik has it again, skates that into the Greyhound zone. Over to Manic, shoots that Tugga in front and covered up by the Merkin. All right, face off to the right of Birkin, the Greyhound's goaltender. And let's see if Manic or Lakey, I think it's Manic with the face off. He will lose that nice uh, hit, and Castano has the puck. Fighting it along the uh, circles, and Tugga missing the puck in front. Castano loses it. Jo Johnston over to LaGuerre. I don't know these names. I'm just fucking pronouncing them how I want. Johnston now has that. Skates it into the Winterhawks uh, zone. Loses that as Bronberg had it. And no throt. And shot and save. And Surprise, motherfucker. Cover that Tugga clearing the crease. Throwing around some bodies after the whistle. No penalties. And it's 8.06, jumping out at the next shift in the first period for Big Tugga. All right, and now the Greyhounds have it going into the Winterhawks zone. Mafreya. Mafreya shoots that over and passes, and that's a 1T for the Greyhounds. No go. Carroll takes a huge Tugga along the boards. Castano has it now, skates it into his own zone, going into his own zone very deep. Manic has it behind the net. Over to Litke. Takes a hit and loses it. Mafreya. Murfura? Mur, okay, uh, Murfura gets poke checked a doom from Big Tugga and now loses it. The Greyhounds pin uh, the Winterhawks defenseman behind the net, and that's Chaichik. And along the board takes a hit. Tugga at the point. Bronberg now has it over to Manic, and Tugga going for a line change. Coming back out at the 447 mark of the first period. And we're jumping back out. We're on the PK now. So we're going to be playing a lot more defensively here. We got Trot. Trot with the puck across the neutral. Over to Dickinson. Over to Trot. Shot and Gold has it and saves it. D uh, Big Tugga will dump that back into the Greyhound zone. And controlled behind the net. Castano passes that over to Trot. Trot skates that into the neutral zone. Takes a beat and stops. And around Tugga over to Johnston. Tugga with a breakup. But Trot gets it again. Johnston with a shot and save from Gould and Tugga with a big hit from behind. Alright, that's what we're going to be having a lot in this game. A lot of physicality from Big Tugga. 
Face off to the right, and now it's over. Pitlick shoots that wide. He'll control his own rebound and pass that back up to the defense. Ryan O'Rourke. Ryan O'Rourke, a Minnesota Wild draft prospect. Kozik now passes over to Tugga. Tugga in the neutral on a P uh, shorthanded chance. Two on one, two on two. Pass over, stolen by Dylan Waro. Over to Pitlick. Pitlick now has it in the neutral, takes a hit, and now Kearns picks up the loose puck. Tugga with a poke check. Uh, corrals him behind the net. McKay has it, passes that, and Tugga with a poke check on Pitlick. McKay shot, and that's Gould with a save over the net. Tallman now over to Tugga. Tugga passes that down into the Greyhound zone, goes for a line change. That's going to be the end of the first period, and somebody came on the lens. Holy shit, what's up with the lens glare? Big Tugga with his first goal of the series, 2-1. to one. All right, we are back here at the second period between the Greyhound and the Winterhawks drop of the puck and the Greyhounds have it but dump it into our uh, the Winterhawks zone. Picked up by Bronberg and squirts out front. Chichik now passes that over to Big Tugga. Big Tugga skates that into the Greyhound zone, takes a hit and loses that. That is going to be something that we're going to have to work on. Kieran's now has it, loses it himself as Bronberg steals it. Bronberg, a Winter Hawks defenseman from Denmark, lose, uh, passes that over to Tugga, and he loses that from Castano. Over to McKay. McKay along the boards, turns away from a hit. Passes that over, stolen by Licky, and now Tugga has the puck. He'll skate that into the ground zone, pinned along the boards. Kicks that down to Manic. Manic now has the puck over to Bronberg at the point. To Tugga and he'll fumble fuck the puck at in front of the crease. Kearns now has it over to Laguerre. Eh? Nice execution. For sure, I'll call him Laguerre. All right, Pitlick has the puck and he'll get pinned along the boards down in the corner. McKay has the puck, squirts over to Gould and Gould will cover that up. We got a face off to the right of Gould. But Gould with the cover up, let's just jump out to our next shift at the 16 minute mark. And the Greyhounds have the power play as we're going to dump that back into the Greyhound zone. We're on the PK. O'Rourke passes that over. Big Tugga hit on the boards over Dickinson. Takes a hit. And then Tugga goes off sides because he can't control the puck. He's got hands of fucking cement apparently. We got a face off outside of the zone of the Greyhounds. Face-off is won by the Greyhounds. Laguerre has the puck now. Passes over to Dickinson, who took a huge hit and loses that, but controls it to go again. Castano takes a shot right down the crease, and then Tugga throws his own player uh, clear across the fucking rink. We got a coach uh, intermission here. Relieve the pressure. We got to fight back in this one. Consider it done, coach. I'll do that, even though it's kind of vague. But we'll figure it out. All right, face off to the right of Gould. And we're still on the PK, so let's see how this goes. Uh, Greyhounds win that over to Castano. Tugs is going to control that puck. He steals that right in the middle, tries to dangle, and he does hit uh, Castano. And that's a big hit along the board. Another big hit, but that's going to be an interference penalty. Tugga just throwing around physical play, throwing bodies, basically. And that's going to be an interference penalty. Let's see if we can run off some more uh, time off this clock before Tugga has to go into the box. There's another hit on an unsuspecting player. I don't think that's going to be part of the penalty, but we got a delayed penalty still. Dickinson over to Laguerre. Takes another big hit from Tugga. Another big hit from Tugga. Holy shit. This guy is just steamrolling every motherfucker out there right now. And Tugga's going to go for the box for two minutes for interference. Who keeps coming all over these camera lenses? I hate it. Down on the lens glare, EA. Laguerre is going to go off for a delay a game penalty, and we're just jumping back out, and we got the power play now. Uh, passed in, that's our offsides as the Winterhawks defenseman Nolan could not keep that in the zone. Tug at the center dot, he's going to take a face off. So what? That back to New Win. New Win now skates that in, takes a shot, and Birkin the Merkin covers that up. Face off to the right of Birkin. Tugga with the face off. Let's see if he can win another one. 11 to 10 on the face off. Wins, wins that back, and that's blocked by Pitlick. Pitlick has the puck now, passes over to Castano, and Castano skates that into the winter lock zone. T stolen by Tugga. He's skating. This is going to be a possible breakaway. No, not a breakaway, nope. but Birkin is going to cover that Tugga shot up. All right. 
Faceoff to the left of uh, Birkin. Tugga is still at the faceoff dot. Let's see if he can win it three for three in this game. He will lose it, but the, then New Win comes in and snipes it wide. Licky passes over to New Win and shoots and shot and blocked in front. And that's cleared by the Greyhound behind the net. We're going to pick up the puck. That's Kozak over Not to Tugga, who misses it completely and then shreds Castano's knee with a fucking legal hit. Uh, that is going to be Licky over to No Win. Takes a hit, and that's controlled by Tugga. No, Pitlick steals it from Tugga and dumps that back into the Winterhawk zone. Controlled by the defense, th passed up to New Win. New Win over to Tugga through the slot. Tugga on his backhand, goes to forehand, takes a shot, and blocker save from the Merkin. Kierens has it no over to Castano. He'll take a pass over to Pitlick. Pitlick and Tugga going for a line change. 9.32 mark of the second period. We're going to back jump out. This is a long game for the first game of this episode, but uh, not all games are going to be this long, I promise. McLean now has the puck in the uh, Winterhawk zone. Licky steals that, and Manic now skates through the neutral. We got a three-on-one situation. Manic over to T uh, Tugga. No, covered up by Birkin. And we got a face off to the right of Birkin, the Merkin, and Manic at the draw. Licky and Tugga are the wingers. Let's see if Manic can win this. He does win it back to Tugga. Shot and uh, misses the net. Laguay has the puck. Tugga with a huge miss on that hit. And McLean now has the puck over to Boudreau. Takes a shot and save. And Boudreau gets blown the fuck up in front. Holy shit. Don't stand any close to the goaltender with big Tugga around, motherfucker. All right. Face off to the right of Gould. And that's won by Manic. Bronberg now has the puck. He skates that out of his own zone through the neutral, dumps that into the Greyhound zone. Cut, controlled by Castano. Castano I now skates in, through, like takes a huge it. tug a hit from Big Tugs. Oh my gosh, landline type of fucking hit. He's going to have to eat some fucking ice cream or some shit because his teeth are fucked up. Johnston now has the puck over to Trot. Trot skates through the zone. Poke check a doom from Tugga, and it's in the corner. Trot over to Johnston. Johnston now has it. Tugga steals it from him, and that's over to Manic. Manic now skates that through the neutral. Tugga calls for the pass. No go. Stolen from the Greyhounds, and Tugga, oh, Trot now had it and lost it. That's over to a Greyhounds player. Trot over to Johnston. Johnston. Tugga slides across the ice to block that. A hit on Manic and Tugga going for a line change. It's 6 one We're jumping out again for another line shift in this game. And Tugga's back out on the ice. Pass over the uh, Winterhawk. Control it. Win Licky over to Manic. Manic over to Tugga. Tugga over to Licky. No. Stolen in front. Licky has it over to Tugga. Can't control it. And Carroll has it. Over to Manic. Manic back to Tugga. He is fumble fucking the puck. Like, whoa out here. Karate or whatever the fuck his name is. Passes over to Callista. Over to Carroll. J uh, Carroll skates that into the Winterhawk zone. Tugga with a lot of poke checks out there. Hellishuck over to Carroll. Shot and saved by Gould. Tallman now has the puck. Passes over to Manic. Over to some guy on our team. Tugga with a deke over there. Can't, does control it. Wow, shocker. He will lose that to Mafura. Mafura passes that over to Johnston. Johnston over to a guy on the Greyhounds. I don't know, but Tugga has the puck in the neutral. He'll skate through. Weaves through the Greyhounds. Takes a shot and misses the net. Uh, controlled by Mafura, but we're going to go to the next shift at the 55 second mark of the second period. We're back out on the ice. Pass over to Tugga in the neutral, and he'll dump that into the Greyhound zone, and that's going to be icing. What a fucking play. And then uh, after the whistle, big hit. Oh, that is definitely throwing around some more physical play. I wonder what the hits mark is for Tugga in this game. Laguerre shots and safe from Ghoul covered up. Face-off to the left of Gould, and it's 15-15 to 15 now in face-offs between the two teams. Face-off, Ma Manic loses at Guerre over to Castanos, broken up, and Mafura <laughs> takes a huge hit. Thank God that's a teammate tug. All right, another cover up from Gould, and we got face-off to the left. 
Manic at the draw. Let's see if he can win this. No, he does not. Castano takes it and shoots that wide. Chichik now has it over to Licky. Licky skates through the neutral zone, passes that over. No, he's going to take a shot and Merkin with a save. Tugga can't figure out if he wants to go get it. Licky has the puck now. Has it behind the net. Castano steals it from him, and that's going the other way. Johnston now has it in through the neutral into the Winterhawk zone. Burn. That's the end of the second period. Take a look at these highlights, but this game has been back and forth between these two teams hunting for the Memorial Cup. We're back here for the third period between these two teams the winter hawks from portland and the greyhounds from sioux st marie ontario and the winter hawks control the puck Bronberg over to Tugga. Tugga loses that. Of course he doesn't. Costando, big fucking hit, and that's going to be a penalty on Big Tugga. I think it's going to be a boarding call, and uh, that's another penalty for Big Tugga in this game. Tua Tugga Boyatu is just racking up the pims, but he's also racking up the hits in this one as well. We got a delayed penalty. A big teammate tug from Bronberg as well. But that's not going to be a penalty. It's just two minutes for elbowing from Tua Tuga Boyatu. Going to the sin bin. Another come on a lens for anyone out there watching. It's not the graphics this time. It's just EA. What the fuck? That's terrible. Simming to our next shift. It's going to be a power play for the Greyhounds as we're jumping out to the 1727 mark. And that's going to be the end of it. We got the puck from Delorum, uh, from Delorum. Over to Tugga, misses the net. Chichik over to Tugga, no, lost it. Tugga with- You're doing terrific. Loses it and Trot now skates that through the neutral. We're gonna go for a line change. 1435 mark, we're jumping out for our next shift. Still up two to one over the Greyhounds and the graphics are just so brutal. Manic with a shot, covered up and saved by uh, Burkett. Bur Burkett. Try again. Merkin? Birkin? <laughs> All right. Tugga with a face-off and Manic at the draw. Let's see how we go. And that is one Manic over to Tugga. Shot and blocked by Castano in front. He'll skate that out and pass that over to McLean. McLean along the boards. Another hit from Bronberg. I'm loving that guy. Tugga is just, him and Bronberg are just destroying people on the right side of the ice. Bronberg will dump that in behind the net. And that's Laguerre takes a hit. And Castano now passes that over to Watson. Poke checked, but no, over to Boudreaux. Boudreaux now skates it in for the Greyhounds. Over and now that's a hit on Guerrier. El Guerrier tucks it. Oh, poke check a doom from Tugga and another hit in the behind the net. Stolen by uh, Tua. Tua now skates up and he's covering up the D. Chichik now skates up and Licky has the pot. Through the neutral, he'll turn and pass that over to Tugga. Through the neutral, he'll skate that into the Greyhound zone. Nope. Takes a hit, but holds on, passes that across. No, Castano steals it from Tugga. And over to Trot. Trot passes that through, and Tugs is going to go for a line change. 11-12 mark of the third period, just jumping back out there. And we're going to see how he does in this shift. Third period, still 2-1. to one. Going in, Chichik now has the puck. Chichik will skate that in, passes Ch uh, Tugga with a 1-T. Go in the Jared in the slot, but saved by Birkin. Manic at the draw to the left of Birkin now. Still 2-1, 1057 mark, and we have the puck. No, Laguerre steals that from the face-off dot. Skates that through the neutral. Apparently offsides warning. Another huge hit from our teammate, and that's Manic through the neutral with the puck. Two on one with Tugga. Shoots that Manic. My. No, stolen by Dickinson. He'll skate that out of his own zone through the neutral. Stolen Trot now has it. Licky over to Bronberg. Bronberg skates that through the neutral into the uh, Greyhound zone he'll hold on to it at the point shot from Manic save from Birkin and face off to the right of Birkin we got 10-16 uh, mark it's still offsides warning I think that's a glitch Licky over to Tugs fumble fox it and loses it look where he takes a hit Manic now has it skates through shoots and scores Manic with a big goal that's gonna solidify the lead Three to one now as Mason Manic gets a goal off a hit from Tugs. 
Tugs uh, made uh, that puck happen as Manic picked it up, lost uh, loose puck, snipes that right past Birkin on a one on O chance, and that's three to one. The winner Hawks have the lead again, and it's gonna be a big one. This is a tight third period, tight, unassisted tight, tight. from Manic. Manic now has the puck off the faceoff win over to Licky, over to Tugs. No, behind the net. Tugs now has it behind the net. Still controls it, shoots, and that's badly aimed shot? I don't think so. Tug with he and now we got a fight team to a tug a bull we got to and take up the Goye. And let's see how Tugga does in his first bout nope. in this series. He's bopping buckies for Laguaye, and now that's all that's gonna be bad news as he gets bobbleheaded and Toa Tugga Boyatu gets his first dub in this Memorial Cup tournament. Jacob Laguaye gets the L for the Greyhounds. Three to two though as the Greyhounds score with Tugga in the box and it's 446 mark of the third period. Still offsides warning. Total glitch from NHL 21. Manic on the draw. Over to Costano as the Greyhounds won that through Dickinson. Over to Trot. Takes another hit from Bronberg. I'm loving that guy. Bronberg is a beast. Chichik now has it from a pass from Tua. And Chichik shoots that block from the defense in front. Licky pulling along the boards. And Laguaye still reeling from that big fight from Tugga. And then Dickinson gets a huge hit again. And that's going to be Tugga with the puck through the neutral. Through the slot. As the puck shoots that wide pass, Birkin. Chichik over to um, Manic behind the net, and Castano now controls the puck. Tugga pokes that free, and Laguerre steals the puck. Dickinson, a huge hit from Tua, and now picks up the puck. Spin cycle behind the net, behind over to Manic, and no go. Castano has it. The Winterhawks putting a lot of pressure on the Greyhounds right now. Tua with a shot, misses the net. Manic picks it up over to Tua in front, and shot. Licky misses the net, hits the side of the net. Tua hits his way in behind the, in the corner, and that is death and destruction out there. A lot of pressure from the Winter Hawks, and that's cleared by Jacob Laguerre and Tua Tuga Bua Atu is going for a line change. That's the end of the game, and the Winter Hawks get the win in their first game of the Memorial Cup. A big goal from Mason Manic is the game winner. And B. Gould is going to pick up his first dub of the tournament. A big game from Tua Tuga Boyatu in his first uh, game for the series. Gets a goal. A shit ton of hits. Holy fuck. I cannot wait to see the double dig on that one. And more come on the lens for everyone to enjoy. Take a look at that snipe and his awesome Samoan smash celebration that he is going to be using throughout his career. That's what I like to see. Manic with the big game winner. 3-2. to two. Let's go back to locker room and see what coach has to say. All right, Coach Yonkman, perfect Tua. They're going to have a tough time scoring if they can't get out of their zone. Plus 150 to management, plus 75 to teammate, plus 50 to brand. All right, that is a fantastic first game for Tua. Tugga, Boiatu, well, goal and 18 minutes played. Let's see the hits. I got to see how many hits he had in this game. 17 hits from Tua. Tugga Boiatu, two face-off wins, an A-minus overall player growth, a fantastic first game for this new draft prospect here on Dynasty Central Sports. We got a plus 100, uh, 1,275 followers online apparently, I guess, so 306, uh, 3,615. We got an interview from the press. Aside from the result, which was a win, you were great and killed it. Do you think you're, it's going to be something we're going to get used to? Um, let's go with the star answer. No, go with the team answer. Tua is a family-based guy. He's going to be tame, but he does have a bit of a cocky side. So we're going to be towing the line between team and star in this storyline. Plus 75 to management after that big game. 
and now Coach Yonkman is going to come in and talk. I must admit, you really impressed me with your leadership in guiding this team to victory. Thanks, Coach. Don't short yourself, and we're going to jump to the first line. No more Manic and um, Licky. We're going to be on a line with, uh, I don't know who the guys are, but I know Seth Jarvis is the right winger. Thank you for watching this first episode of Tua Tuga Boiatu, a be a pro on Dynasty Central Sports. Smash like down below, hit subscribe, and support Dynasty Central Sports. Thank you for watching. Shout us out on Instagram or Twitter as well, and love to hear from you down in the comments. We'll see you next episode as we're going to play against the Oshawa Generals, the host team of the Memorial Cup, Ron Robin. We'll see you later.